family, Tasha with Scriptures, Veggies, and Thimbles. Coming on to let you know how day 10 has gone. Today is the last day of the 10-day smoothie cleanse. It has gone exceptionally well. Today's smoothie was very yummy. Um, very pineapple-y and mango-y and all that good stuff. Even though it had a lot of kale in it. Um, but it was very, very good. I really enjoyed it. It, today's smoothie and Sunday's smoothies were the best. All of them were good, but those two smoothies were the best. So, um, that went well. I drank my morning smoothie. I had my lunch smoothie. Had to force myself to have it, though. Didn't really want it. Um, and had my snacks. And I, again, ate my snacks today out of boredom. It wasn't that I wanted them. I was just sitting there and I was bored. So, what this has shown me is um, that I need to take snacks you know, vegetables or fruits or whatever for snacks on a daily basis so that even when I'm not on this cleanse, that when I'm sitting there, I'm not eating things that, um, you know, like candy or cookies or whatever, which is what I had been doing. Um, I would go to the vending machine and get, you know, cookies or whatever, or, you know, would go downstairs to the, um, to the little cafe down there and, and buy stuff down there. So this has shown me that I do eat out of boredom and so I need to have things readily available at my reach to eat that is, that's good and healthy for me and not something that's going to sabotage all the work that I've done. So um, it's been a great cleanse. I've enjoyed it immensely. Um, I will do it again. Now, when will I do it again? I have not decided if I'll do it again after I come back from my trip to Texas. Um, I'm going to visit for 10 days and then come back. So I don't know if I'll do it then or if I'll do it after I get back to Texas and get settled. Um, but I will definitely be doing it again because the benefits from it have just been phenomenal. Um, I have not weighed myself and I have not measured myself. I will do that tomorrow. Um, because I wanted to have my evening smoothie and go through the whole night and let it be a complete 10 day smoothie cleanse. Um, so besides the scale that I use, um, is at the gym at work. So I'm not going back there until in the morning. So I'll weigh myself then. I will measure myself tonight, but, um, for my weight and all, I'll do another video tomorrow just to, um, Maybe post pictures. Haven't decided. I don't know. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But I will at least come on and share how many inches or weight or pounds, if any, that I lost. Um, I believe inches. I don't know. It's pounds. I don't know. Um, I feel slimmer. I see a change. I notice a difference in the way that my clothes fit and feel. Um, in fact, a shirt that I wore today that was exceptionally tight two weeks ago was very loose today and I was very very pleased with that the shirt that I wore on Sunday for the um, 5k walk was one like I said that I had not put on and knew that I wasn't gonna be able to put it on until I lost some weight and so to be able to get into that on Sunday was phenomenal for me um, so I do notice changes, um, but I don't know how much yet. So I'll be doing all of the measurements and the weight and all of that tonight and tomorrow. And then I'll, I'll do a video just to share that little bit of information so it won't be very long. So tonight I am going to have my smoothie for dinner. Um, I had to force myself to, do the, to drink the, the one for lunch, but I, I think because I just walked uh, five miles... Um, well, no, that's not right. To the grocery store and back was three and a half miles. So I think because I did that now, I'm like ready to eat. So total today, I walked a total of six miles, um, walking to work, walking for lunch, walking to the grocery store, walking home from work, then to the grocery store and then back from the grocery store. Um, I've walked a total of six miles today. So I'm feeling really, really good. I'm going to sleep even better. 
that's another thing. Sleep, I have had insomnia, something terrible in the past. And that is a, a positive in this cleanse. Every time I've done a cleanse, I've noticed that I go to bed earlier, I wake up earlier, but when I go to bed, I sleep all night. If I need to get up in the night to use the restroom or anything, instead of getting back in the bed and I'm wide awake, I get back in the bed and it's like I never woke up at all. I'm out like a light. So I do like that and um, need to pay attention to when um, things change and maybe it's a sign that I need to do another detox and cleanse and, and get all the yuck out of me. So um, things that I will continue I will continue doing the detox tea because it is cleansing and detoxing the liver. I will continue to do that. Um, I am now adding um, psyllium husk, a very small amount to my smoothies um, every day. And I will have a morning smoothie and a lunch smoothie and then I will eat dinner. One, um, a smoothie in the morning is just, and for lunch really, is just time it's a time saver for me. It's not something that I have to think about preparing. I can get up in the morning and have it, you know, just like I did for this cleanse, have everything bagged up and ready to go and get up in the morning and make my smoothie and make two of them just as I've been doing and taking them to work. Um, drinking one for breakfast and drinking one for lunch. It's very, very convenient. And I don't typically want to eat the way I was eating um, even though it was vegan um, I really do want to go um, full-fledged with this plant-based lifestyle but I am now cutting out all oils and that includes vegan butter um, all the oils that they tell you that are healthy I'm eliminating those completely from my um, lifestyle so and I'm doing that simply because um, on my mother and father's side, heart disease is very prominent. And um, all of my, my father and all of his brothers and one of his sisters, um, all, of the boy, all of the boys died of, of heart disease and the damage that it caused. My aunt, um, yeah, same thing, heart disease, um, stroke um, so with all of that I'm doing everything that I can to take as many precautions as I can to eliminate that and break that generational curse and I mean it's oil like I'm not missing anything so I'm completely cutting that out of my life uh, lifestyle also because of watching a few documentaries so and, and I think you can find them on YouTube, maybe Netflix. That's where I saw a few of them as well. Um, but Forks Over Knives is a great documentary to watch. Excellent. The China Study documentary is an excellent one to watch. Um, Fat Sick and Nearly Dead 1 and 2, although 1 was far better than 2. Those are really good to watch. And Super Size Me is another great documentary to check out. Um, Food Inc. is another one. Um, that's Food Inc. I-N-C. Um, that's a really great one to watch. And that's all I can think of at the moment. Um, and I don't tell people to watch these documentaries because I'm trying to make them go plant-based or save the animals or anything. I am not vegan to save the animals. And a lot of people are, and I don't knock them for it. A lot of people have gone vegan for health purposes, and then it became about the animals. I, I tell you all from the jump, that's not me. And if it's other people, that is perfectly fine, and I don't knock them for that. I, I mean, I don't have anything to say negative about that. It's not me. I am vegan strictly for my health, and because I, I really never cared for meat anyway. So it's kind of like a no-brainer. Like, I, I didn't care for meat. Have never really cared for meat since I was a child. So 
to eat all the vegetables and fruits and nuts and seeds and, and legumes that I can, that's just like bonus for me. Um, but check out those documentaries and hopefully I'll remember exactly which ones I said and I will put them down in the description box below. That way you can, you know, find them. Um, but I, I tell people or I share with people to watch those documentaries, even if you make one change. If it's that you have a meatless Monday or you incorporate more fruits and vegetables into your daily lifestyle. And if you want to keep eating the meat, then go right ahead. But if you incorporate more fruits and vegetables, great. You know, that's a bonus. If, if that's what happens after you watch these documentaries, then I've done what I needed to do. Um, if you learn the truth about a lot of the medications that are prescribed and so forth for various diseases and illnesses, if that's what you learn out of the documentary, great. If it makes you cut back on how much fast food you eat, great. If it makes you just stop and take a look at your health and get out of the mindset of, we all have to die sometime, I'm going to enjoy what I'm eating and, in, and when I die, I die. When we get out of that mentality and realize we could possibly have a little longer life expectancy for ourselves, for our family, for our children, our grandchildren, and so forth. If it does that, if it makes you think on that aspect of it, great. I've done what I needed to do. So, um, yeah, check out those documentaries. I watch them. I've seen them. I can't tell you how many times because I think I'll watch them like twice a year just to remind myself those few times when I'm craving. And yeah, I have a craving every now and then. I would really like some fried chicken. And then I'll watch the documentary and remind myself, you're doing this for your health. You're not doing this as a fad. You're not doing this as because it's now becoming the popular thing to do. You are definitely doing this because your health is at stake. And I want, if the Lord allows me to live those 120 whatever years he says in the Bible that we can live, if he allows me to live that long, I want to live to the fullest extent that he says I can. I want to enjoy my children and my children's children and get to see their children. So if I can do something on my part to help with that, I'm definitely going to do that because it means so much to me. Um, I, I, I know the devastation of a father passing away, you know, suddenly, a mother passing away suddenly because of choices that they made in their lifestyle and I'm not knocking them because you know we all have a choice but I think I can tell you especially on my mother's part my father not so much because <laughs> telling him to eat anything healthy he was still saying I'm gonna eat this bacon because I enjoy this bacon and if I die eating this bacon then I've lived a good life so he was not of the mindset of doing anything to live any longer my mother, on the other hand, did not realize until much later in life, which also ended up being too late, that, you know, she needed to make changes. She did make changes, um, but I really, really believe had she known about any of the things that I have learned over the past seven years since her passing, she would have definitely been on the bandwagon right along with me. She may not have given up meat seven days a week, but I can assure you she would have cut back drastically because when she was diagnosed with breast cancer, it was a no-brainer for her. I'm cutting out red meat, and she did it. It was for her health, so she did it. So I have no doubt that she would have um, jumped right on the bandwagon. And like I said, she may not have given it up for seven days a week, but I could so see her giving it up for five. Five days a week, I could see my mom living a plant-based lifestyle. Um, so yeah, check out those documentaries. I hope that you are blessed by them. I hope you've been blessed by me documenting my, um, 
day to day, even though nothing really changed day to day. Um, I hope you've been blessed by what I've had to share. And I've, I hope that you've been encouraged to stop and think about your own health and maybe, you know, give a cleanse um, more thought and actually step into doing one. Um, you'll feel a whole lot better, I promise you. Maybe not the first three days, but after that, you'll feel amazing and you'll wonder why you didn't detox and cleanse sooner. So with that being said, I am going to go six miles today. This chick is ready to have her smoothie and go to bed. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care and be blessed.